Hi, I'm uh, Brian Glaster. I'm the CEO of Cadence Biomedical, and I bit my tongue really hard today. So if it sounds like I'm lisping, it's not because I had too much of that beer back there. But uh, uh, we make the Kickstart walking system that helps people with severe disabilities walk, and I'm happy to tell you about it today. So about 800,000 people are going to have a stroke in the United States this year, and two-thirds of them are going to have severe mobility impairments as a result of it. Now, stroke affects the entire leg, usually. Um, you may have heard of something called foot drop, which is where your shin muscles don't work anymore, so you can't pull your toes up and you trip on them. But most often, uh, people who have a stroke also have something called hip flexion weakness, which uh, prevents you from actually lifting your leg off of the ground. And for a century, the standard of care has been to give people an ankle brace to help them with the foot drop problem, but it doesn't do anything for their hip flexion weakness, and as a result, they end up in a wheelchair. Um, we have a solution for that. Uh, it's best told through uh, one of our patients, so I'm going to try to play a video and hold the mic up uh, to the uh, computer to see if you can hear it, and if not, I'll narrate, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't have the strength to, Anybody? to raise up the, the right leg. Carl Simmons used to be an avid runner. Can't keep up with anybody. Now he struggles just to walk. I see how it tends to drag that right foot. In 2008, Carl went in for a routine knee replacement. It happened so quick, a day and a half after the knee operation. We lose it? Okay, so Carl went in for a knee replacement, and a couple days later he had a stroke. Affected how his arm worked, affected how his leg worked, um, and he had to relearn how to walk, but still four or five years later it's just not enough. And it's been a, a, a big problem for, for him and his wife. So now he's wearing our Kickstart walking system. Uh, these are his first steps that he's taken. And he's able to uh, lift his leg off the ground and uh, take a nice natural step. Uh, so the, uh, uh, the nice thing about Kickstart is there's no motors, there's no batteries, uh, but this handsome gentleman's going to show a nice spring here. And it goes from the hip to the ankle. And uh, when a patient starts to take a step, It'll stretch and store energy. And then at the end of the step, all that energy comes back and it lifts the leg off of the ground and uh, helps somebody uh, swing through for the next step. Uh, so this is a couple days after Carl got his kickstart and for the first time in, in a long time, he and his wife are going for a walk around uh, the neighborhood. And uh, it's not gonna mean as much coming from me, but from uh, his wife, it means they're not isolated anymore. They can go for walks around the neighborhood. They can go meet the neighbors and they can start to regain their lives. Uh, so how does, uh, where did all this come from? You know, a lot of people have been looking to science fiction and going back to the old Aliens movies and developing these expensive robotic exoskeletons. We look to nature, uh, specifically the horse. And horses have really short muscles, which you can see here in red, and then really long tendons in green. And when a horse starts to take a step, those tendons stretch and store energy and then help them uh, lift their leg off the ground for the next step. Uh, so as opposed to humans that have long muscles and really short tendons, uh, this is why horses are so much more efficient at walking and running than we are. Uh, so we thought maybe we can put a, uh, a long spring on a human and do the same thing. And turns out we can. Uh, uh, this is Albert. Albert had a stroke 11 years ago. He had been in a wheelchair for 10 years. Um, and now you can see with Kickstart, he's leaving that wheelchair behind. Uh, two weeks ago, I walked across the Golden Gate Bridge with Albert, two other stroke survivors, and uh, the Associated Press. And uh, uh, it's really changing his life and many other people. Uh, so our big problem is nobody knows uh, that this is a solution that's out there. Uh, so we've been doing a big, uh, big uh, press campaign lately, and it's been going a lot of places. Um, uh, that King 5 article, uh, the Associated Press covered the uh, uh, Golden Gate Bridge and a number of other stories. Uh, I'm supposed to have an ask for this. You know, we've raised some money. Uh, you never have enough, so if anybody wants to fund us again, we'd be happy to talk to you. Uh, but my big ask is everybody in this room knows somebody that knows somebody that had a stroke or a spinal cord injury or multiple sclerosis or Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, you name it, if there's a neurological condition, chances are they have hip flexion weakness and there's a good chance that Kickstart could help them. Uh, so my ask to you all is to uh, go to our Facebook page, like us, and share our videos so that we can spread the word and uh, get out there and help a lot more people. Thank you very much.